anticipation. A glass filling gradually is how I demonstrate discretion before gulping. Giddy for some tickling sensation, but no need to hurry. I'm all right. Let's have another slower, more preamble. Swing that shaker one more time. Again, I'm patient. I have nowhere else to be tonight, just here with you, so pour another and another. Steady hand, careful now, I glimpse stray drops overflowing, trickling down, bare arms, waist knot, want not. My fingers gently brush your skin, a tease for that perfect moment, perfect excuses, another round. My lips denied their true desire. Are we on to the good stuff yet? <laughs> scattering the reverential dust. The adolescents swarm through the old house, filling its intimate spaces once again with their laughter and music, scattering the reverential dust of those who are, un who are unwilling to admit that time marches on, that the life of a structure must adapt as a person's does, that a building cannot isolate itself from the flow of time and whether we be an object made of inanimate materials or a creature of flesh and blood, we must never allow ourselves to become a museum piece sealed away in airtight plexiglass. Regardless of our age, we may still seize the life around us, never accepting that we have nowhere left to grow. Thank you. Erosion. As he paces over the pebbles, smooth stones along the shore, he spies a bit of blue lace. Stuck on some battered driftwood, marooned ashore, quivering in the breeze, full of troubled memories, where true words were left unsaid. Replaced by trivial grievances, bitter rebukes unworthy of a spring twilight. These petty complaints remain hanging in the air far longer than it's fair so that even after she is departed, his surroundings remain poisoned. Only gradually do the tides begin their work of wearing away the rough edges. Finding down the smooth parts so that the hurts of the past may hurt less in the future. Dissolving those words and phrases, now so regretted, now so longing to be reclaimed into that gentle breeze, which causes a single piece of lace to dance with such complexity. Interpretive dance. Her foot glides gently and perhaps a little wobbly along the deserted sidewalk beneath the night sky where she remarked that she was a dancer, offering up a demonstration. Despite the handicap of a cocktail too many, she pirouettes, he stands still, hands buried deep in pockets, Vodka's warming afterglow faded away, leaving him wondering, why doesn't the cold bother her? With no hat, scarf dangling loosely about her body, fringe hanging with her, moving with her body, making him feel less somehow, second guessing what he sees in her grin. Is he responding to her gestures or his projection? Is she more at ease with life, or is it simply a mask, worn as half-heartedly as his pose of world-weary cynicism, 
beating down romantic daydreams, which he can never quite squanch, even at one in the morning, as she offers up a slight curtsy, along with the realization that they will only be passionate acquaintances. He will never know her well enough to truly answer any question about her. <laughs> Wednesday evening, Marriott Suites. It is hard to catch your breath when you are always on the move. During daylight hours, I navigate an endless parade of faces offering up firm handshakes with bright smiles. I am a perpetual traveler, greeting, meeting, networking, networking, networking. Hello, my name is Ah. You are, then I suppose you know, fascinating. Well, I should be moving on when really, where is there to go? Another rented room, another Wi-Fi password for my battered laptop, which strictly speaking, belongs to the company. There's never a desk of my own with old pens to be discovered in the back of a drawer. Instead, there are closets consisting of empty hangers. In the evening, I try to relax, huddled beneath white sheets and something too lightweight to be truthfully termed a comforter. Some nights, I lie awake transfixed by the blinking red light of a smoke detector, wondering, is there anything that distinguishes this one from the one before? Anything that differentiates the convention halls of the people within, gripping cheap cups of coffee as though they were a pulse, each of us chasing after our own myth of happiness. I contribute. In round table discussions, I add something. I make a difference. Oh. Thanks. Susie was in the restroom when the first band began. Some opening act she never heard of and did little to impress her as she made her way to the edge of the bar, wet, surface coated with melted ice the bartender simply staring at her blankly. <coughs> While Susie scanned the shelves for anything better than absolute, failing, she ordered a beer, the flavor of high school, of evening sprawled out in Jenny's backyard, complaining about teachers, gossiping about boys, always speaking more about themselves than anything else. Even if Susie hadn't realized it at the time, and then, until now, when friendship was more likely defined by an evening of high-end cocktails and half-hearted promises to do it again sometime, wondering at what point everything shifted from potential into stagnation. Late night city streets no long, late night city streets became dreary instead of invigorating. But who said that was the way it had to be? Abandoning the bar, Susie pushed her way deeper into the steadily growing crowd. The onstage drone was only temporary. Sweet of music lay ahead, especially if she remembered that anything was still possible. <laughs> Melody's at her fingertips. Lucy's back hit the wall hard, a good hard, bracing, like his lips along hers, his body against hers, his hands already under her skirt. As exhilarating as the band playing nearby, the beats ringing in her ears, melodies at her fingertips as she traced the path along his back, drawing connections between them, incidents linked together, joined by the music as much as the drink or the chemistry or the sometimes bitter loneliness of a Thursday which seemingly will never end until she feels him, mirroring her intensity, her drive for release, lost to her music, dancing to a rhythm too rare to let pass. Right. 
Thanks. Okay. Um, one left. Um, still have no title for this, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just call it someday, What the Hell is This Poem? <laughs> right. My conception of love has been a long process of refinement, stretching back through hazy memories of adolescent idealism, assumptions that was all so straightforward. You'll know it when you feel it. When simply, I was accepting the easiest choices and making the least effort. Eventually, experience pointed out to me how patterns of attachment are formed with looks exchanged during leisurely dinners or late night walks, romantic settings for spirited discussions of sharing histories, favorite books, and all sorts of sundry topics between rounds of drinks and groping, conversations of all kinds, continued under bedclothes, caresses, whispers which, if you are not careful, will lead to false assumptions being formed, conclusions jumped, and a series of misunderstandings which result in tears and self-berating passing sooner or later through a period of recovery so that you might hope again in that right moment see all these romantic ideals never truly disappear after all what is love without the belief that another smile can contain an explanation for how everything might make sense. How all your stumbling failures were merely a means to getting you here, where those hurts of the past no longer infuriate. No, not now that you have learned from missed opportunities, remembering how each broken heart leads to being more adventurous, and when that right moment finally does arrive, you will be ready for it. With open arms, to embrace those emotions, which flow so naturally between you, since love, like anything else, is something that must be learned as well as felt. We may experience the most intense burnings of passion, longings for comradeship, yet if you cannot relate, nurture and feed that flame, it is all for naught. What is love? Love is infatuation which lasts, not necessarily in the exact same form, our emotions maturing as we do, growing with us, which is the toughest test for any pairing, changing together by continuing to meander down the same path. Thank you.